and as close to the NFL as we are, we're even closer to college football. And with it, Paul Sarah has a blitz. Hey, look, it's something else Rico killed. The SEC on CBS. Go ahead. You know what? No, 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 no. I give you the Big Ten on CBS. Oh, nothing <laughs> says tradition like that. So I figured we'd go through the 10 most difficult schedules for 2024 via ESPN's FPI. Oh, God. Okay. We're going to kick things off with the Texas Longhorns. It's their debut season. They finished 10th on the list here. Debut season in the SEC. Take on Michigan Week 2. Take on Oklahoma, Georgia, Kentucky, Texas A&M. Yeah. It's a big step up. I mean, I like the Big 12. It's a fun, well, was a fun league. But going to the SEC <laughs> is a different bar to clear. Yeah. And you have to add a trip to Ann Arbor there. No matter, look, even if you think Michigan's going to be down and be a 9-3 and three football team, that's no easy task. No, still Ann Arbor, still 110,000 people there. Still cheating. It's, it's Maybe. Not a, it's not a drivable Allegedly. thing for the people in Austin just to drive up to, to Michigan and take over the stands. Plus, they got all your plays. Maybe. Allegedly. <laughs> sort of. Go ahead, Paul. Okay, so this is a, uh, a bit of a step down in quality of team, but nonetheless, ninth toughest schedule, Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Take to finish the season, they finish off with Miami, NC State, and Georgia. Why don't we stop here? How in our lifetime did Georgia Tech win a national title? Even if it's half a one, I take you to 1990. How was that ever a thing? Because Georgia Tech is the most insignificant. They are not a pimple on an elephant's ass. Was that the same? Did Colorado win yeah. the other? That was the Eric yeah. Bieniemy year, because 1990. For some reason, that year. That kind of just, yeah, everything just aligned perfectly for those two schools. And I don't think anybody was paying attention to them. And they looked up and said, whoa, 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 whoa. You mean these two are going to win the national title? Yes. A lot like last year. The point is, do you know who the coach of that Georgia Tech team was? I don't. I don't coach that stuff. Bobby Ross. That's how he ended up in uh, with the Chargers. Yeah. I'm here for and you. And lost the Super Bowl. That's also true. First play was Jerry Rice, 80 Touchdown. yards. Touchdown. Okay. Yeah. We've reminisced You may want to cover him. Over to Paul. Didn't BYU win a random title in the 80s? Too? That was 84, Steve right? Steve Young, quarterback. All right, Lavelle so number, Edwards. <laughs> number eight on the list, the Tennessee Volunteers. What was that Ty Detmer? I'm sorry, Paul. Go ahead. No, no. it was Jim McMahon. I don't know. You know the what, punky Paul? QB? Over to Paul. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so number eight, uh, Tennessee Volunteers. Obviously, they got a run-of-the-mill yeah. tough SEC schedule, but they also have a showdown with NC State. They take on Oklahoma. Look, the biggest and- thing, they have the infrastructure, and Heupel's done a good job. It comes down to this $10 million quarterback, Nico Ramalama Ramalama Ding Dong, whatever the hell his name is. He's supposed to be fabulous. They got him out of L.A. If he's good... They're going to be just fine. They'll be a player. Because I'm telling you, I don't trust LSU and I don't trust Alabama this year. But somehow Tennessee just always finds a way to disappoint. But you can't spell citrus without UT. UT. Greatest line ever. Uh, Number seven on the list, the Oklahoma Sooners. They face Tennessee to finish out September, and then they go on a trip to Auburn, and then five of their next seven games are top 25 yeah, opponents. I, I, but you accepted that check, though, Oklahoma. There it is. See, I think by going to the SEC, Paul, they really stepped in it. And I'm not talking about a puddle. They stepped in something you can't get off your shoe. You may as well yeah. throw your sneakers out. Hey, Oklahoma, I'm going to give you the number to Nebraska. Talk to them and yeah, ask what think, happens when I you go to I think Texas conference. is much more prepared for the SEC than Oklahoma is. And Texas will be Penn State, and Oklahoma will be Nebraska when they get to the SEC. Uh, speaking of being welcome to the SEC, number six is Alabama welcoming new coach Kalen DeBoer I to the SEC. It. I'll leave it to Rico because he's in bed with DeBoer. Yeah, well, you know. No, not in a literal sense. I mean, you love the guy. You just This is your boy. He is, Mike. He's young and up and coming. Now, here's, here's what we find out if he's truly legit. He does not have his quarterback He's coming in here. He's inheriting the quarterback from Alabama. If he could turn him into something, then he's going to earn his, he's going to earn all his money and Alabama's going to love him. But he loses three games this year. He will lose that fan base because they're going to say, we didn't try hard enough. This is Alabama and nine and three is unacceptable. Wait till they find out he's got all his teeth. Paul, (laughs) don't you, don't you always want to be here today? (laughs) 
Don't you always want to? I'm 2-0 in the finals. Come on. Uh, don't you always want to be the guy that follows the guy and not you the do. guy that you follows? You never want to yes. be the guy. But if, yes. if, if you could take Jalen Milrow and and turn him into a, he doesn't have to win the Heisman, but we're talking that he's a Heisman candidate late into October. I think he's done his job. Number five on the list, the Auburn Tigers. I have no idea what to do with them. I really don't. I mean, Hugh Freeze is a really good offensive mind. The quarterback position has been a disaster down there, and it's unforgiving. Now, what I said holds true. I don't think LSU and Bama are going to be vintage. And Miss State stinks. So maybe there's an opportunity there, but I got to see some real quarterback play. Number four, the Kentucky Wildcats. They take on Georgia week three and then they play three top ten or top fifteen teams away on the road: Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Texas. And they close out their season against Louisville. Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Texas. Mm. That's three losses. Look, they spent a lot of money on NIL. Stoops has done a nice job there, but Kentucky just understood. feels like an eternal eight and four program. And I've never understood. It seems like they they get recruits, they just don't win. I, also true. Number three on the list, the Georgia Bulldogs. They play five times away from Sanford Stadium, a neutral site game against Clemson, a game against Alabama, Texas, and Ole Miss. Wait, they uh, actually play Bama this year? Yes, on the road. Oh. Yep. No, Paul, it's legit. And again, if they didn't have one of the best returning quarterbacks in football, I'd say they're in real trouble. But Carson Beck, it's all the experience and skill you need, maybe a top 10 pick in the draft. And it's Kirby Smart. What with, am I going to say? Yeah, with the talent that they have, they'll reload. Just keep Tough the schedule. car keys away from everybody. Yeah, the presumed number one pick in the draft if he lives up to the hype. Is anybody from the Big Ten on this list? No. Uh, number two, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. You may as well bulldoze the town. <laughs> I mean, Starkville's a dump. Who cares? I mean, just Vegas. Just look at they closed the season, Mike, against Tennessee, Missouri, and Old Miss. Oh God, that's their last three games. Well, of the they'll year. win the Old Miss game. Was that the Egg Bowl? Yeah, yeah. Oh Miss. And then the <laughs> the number one toughest schedule, the Florida Gators. Yeah, it's going to cost Napier his job. It's one of the most difficult schedules I've ever seen in college football. Yeah, they finished uh, five straight games in November against top twenty-five teams. Jesus, how many at home? Ooh, let me see. Oh, relax. Look at you oh, putting okay. a, your ambush I'm in sorry. the guy. I, just, I thought maybe you know, all he, Paul has done is try to provide a quality show for and you. He has and done you. a great job. You took I, his kneecaps. Nah, the final thing. But here's the thing, Mike. Are you Jeff also, no. Also, also here's the thing. If you win four or five of those last six games, he's got a nice extension coming down. Oh, good luck. Which They'll be fired by SEC. November. They just want it more. What's crazy is they got a trip to Texas jammed in between the Georgia <laughs> game and the LSU game. Jeez. I mean, they Dude, just have, you know, just don't look ahead when you go to Texas. Just post the job opening in Florida. <laughs> and that's the uh, college football blitz.